Tuesday night baseball from Denver Colorado and Coors Field tonight the rubber match of this three game series between the Milwaukee Brewers and the Colorado Rockies it's Rockies baseball on the show and it comes your way next. In is Christian Yelich and we are set for baseball here this evening Leading off tonight for Milwaukee center fielder Christian Yelich he pulls this one into right and a base hit so early trouble to lead off the inning stepping in Lorenzo Cain. Season batting right average field, comes in six. down in the 240s. Lorenzo Kane. Here comes the first pitch. Drilled to the left side. A diving try, but it's through into the outfield. Coming to the plate now, batting number third. seven. And First he is proving play. to be something number of a non threat seven. with a bat in his hands this year. The average isn't pretty. Swing and a miss as he was way in front of that one. Harold, as we take a look at the Rockies starting play here tonight, they come in looking to make it two in a row as they were win There's a swing and a ball hit in the air and a ball that he got every stitch of as that one, without a doubt, is gone. And that brings up the left-handed hitting Travis Shaw. The average for him entering play, not far north of 200. Squared that one up just a little late. Three runs already home here. Slider, and that's in there for strike two. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Here's Ryan Braun now. And the average isn't pretty down into the roaring 220s to begin the ball game. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Chop foul at the plate here, and it's 0 and 2. Into the windup, here comes the 0 2 pitch. And this is swung on and missed on a good pitch, and Braun is gone for route number two. Stepping up to the plate, Stephen Vogt, hitting just a bit over the Mendoza line on the year. And a breaking ball is chopped foul at the plate, it's 0 and 1. Hold high in the air out to right field. Gonzalez has a read on it. And the inning is over. Here's the second baseman, D.J. LeMayhew. He'll lead things Leading off here in the bottom lead. half of the first. Second baseman, D.J. LeMayhew. And here's a ball hit in the air. Kane on the move, but this will wind up being a foul ball. The wind up and the 0 1. Swinging a ball line softly down the line in right, but foul. Well, he got a piece of that breaking ball right there. That's the second one he's seen in a row now, and he fouled that one off. Let's see if he comes back with a third one. Three in a row. Another one sent foul. Well, that's three foul balls in a row. He's definitely battling up there. Neither guy giving in here, and they'll do it again. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Now a little pop up off toward the first base side. Lays himself out and makes a spectacular catch. Into the box, David Dahl. He enters play hitting down in the 240s for the year. This is on the ground over to first. Field it cleanly and he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. Now to the plate, third. Charlie Blackman. First cuts for him Charlie here with the bases open Blackman. and two away. Zero. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0-1. 0-1 count. Here's the pitch. And boy, they're really giving him fits inside now as he can't get extended there, and it's 0-2 now. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. That's lifted the other way out to left. 
Braun is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Next to bat Orlando Arcia. He'll lead, lead it, it off, off here Brewers. to begin the second. Shortstop. Hey now. Wow, fastball up and in. I'm not sure it was intended to be that far up and that far in, but hey. message sent. Beware. A high strike there, and it's one and one. Down the third baseline. Arenado's got it. And the throw is not going to be in time as he's able to reach base safely. Second At the plate, three. Jonathan VR, Jonathan right at two dollars thirty cents, with the batting average coming into this one, so it's mostly been a struggle for him. Went about halfway there, but it's a called strike regardless. Outside for one. a ball, one and one. You can really tell about how effective this guy's going to be when guys are swinging at that changeup. So far in this one, they've been real smart to let it go. Here's the one and two. And another foul ball. A runner at first with no outs here. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Now in the box, Jimmy Nelson. He could be bunting here in order to stay out of the double play. And they'll try to stay out of the double play here as he lays this one down. And you can't ask for much more out of a pitcher than that. The sacrifice works to perfection. Now batting. Stepping in Center and ready fielder. for another shot. Christian Yelich. He singled his last time up from the stretch. Zero. Swung on and missed. Outclassed by that fastball for a strike. Mm, just reached back and threw a high fastball right by him. He didn't stand a chance. Called strike on the outside part of the plate. 0 and 2. Working for the punch out and the offering. And the 0 2 here is fought off at the plate and we'll do it again. That's a pretty good pitch right there. Two strike changeup. I like the thought process and he got it on the corner. I got to give the hitter some credit for fouling that one off. That's a nice job of staying alive. A two strike breaking ball just out of the zone. He was able to put enough on it to get another pitch. And a check swing here. They'll point down to the third base umpire, but no swing on that one. It's ball one from the belt. Kicks and deals. Swing and a miss for strike three. Hold the string up. Ready now, Nolan Arenado. And a quick glance at the numbers will tell you it's been a huge struggle for him at the plate this year. Swing and a high pop drifting into foul territory. And he'll stay with it here as he puts the squeeze on it for out number one. Batting Stepping in, Carlos right Gonzalez. Fielder. It's Arnold. been a rough go for him at the plate Gonzalez. as he enters this one with a season average in the 230s. Swing and a miss just behind a lively fastball. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. And boy, this at-bat is not starting off well as he's behind 0-2 now. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. A fastball that just misses inside. Pretty good pitch right here to a left-handed power here. The one thing you want to do, keep the ball inside so he can't get those long arms out and extended. Really good pitcher's pitch right there, even though he didn't get the called strike. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. And there's a swing and a miss by Gonzalez as he's a strikeout victim here. Two away. Batting six. Now at the plate, the Trevor stop. Story. He'll try Trevor. to make something happen with two Story. gone in the bottom of the second. And a good fastball there, but this just misses the zone for ball one. Zero. Late that time for a strike. Two out, nobody on. One and two now. Ball, two strikes. And a check swing here, but he holds up far too late as it's strike three, and the inning is over. In now is Lorenzo Cain. He'll stand in Brewers. to open things up the here right in the third. Number six. And he holds Lorenzo up here, but the pitch Kane. is a cold strike anyway. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Now here's a shot out toward the gap in right center. Cain on his way to second. 
And he will pull into second with a leadoff double. Ready for another chance. Number seven. Another RBI spot for him. He's already got three in the game. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Here's the 0-1 pitch. Hard liner but picked up on a hop. And he will whip this one over to first in time for the out. Digging in. Travis Shaw. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. From the belt. Kicks and deals. First pitch hacking here and that's the first strike. That is power versus power. Here it is. Here's my best fastball. I'm going to get it up in the zone. I yep, dare you to hit. Tries to shave the corner with that pitch, but it's one and one. A shot down the first baseline. And a reach, but it's by him as he couldn't quite get to that ball. And the runner from third crosses the plate. Riding in once again, Ryan Braun. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. Swing and a miss on the slider, nothing in one. The 0-1 on its way. And I'm not sure, but it looks like he may have been blindfolded for that swing. It's 0-2 now. Well, that's not a good pitch for him to hit. Look, this fella's got so much power, but you got to bring the pitch into the zone. Chasing that one there right there, I'd go back and throw it to him again. Lays off two and two now. From the belt, kicks and deals. Three and two now. Hey, not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. Three, two count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Oh, he saw that change up really nice. He just wasn't able to keep it fair. There goes the runner, but he won't draw a throw. That's taken for ball four. Four, and it's first and second. Stephen Vogt. Stephen Vogt is in for his second plate appearance as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. Swing and a ball hit on the ground, but a foul ball, one and one. The one one pitch. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. And this is swung on and missed his fifth strikeout already, and there are two gone in the inning. Now batting. Digging in to try it again. Orlando Garcia. Two on, two out for him here in the third. And that's by him. It's 0-1. The 0-1. And there's ball one. He's ready. Now the pitch. Hit the other way out toward right field. Gonzalez has a read on it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Digging in, Dom Nunez. And they've got some work to do early on. Down 4 nothing already. And this ball's going to find the seats down the left field line. Foul strike one. A one pitch on its way. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Oh, and he dusted him off the plate that time. Some mind games being played now. It's 1 and 2. Hard sinker misses 2 and 2. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Now a ball hit high down the left field line, but back in amongst the spectators. Foul. The 2 2 one more time. And there's the first hit of the game for Colorado. Settling in now, Ian Desmond, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. First offering on its way. Hit hard towards center, and that'll get down for a base hit. So stepping in, John Gray. A fairly Catcher. clear sacrifice John situation Gray. here with two on and nobody out. Your Gerardo Parra will get a chance. For the Rockies, 
Number eight, Gerardo Parra. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Still struggling at the plate with an average well under 200. One home run and five driven in. This one's flared out toward left. And that's going to fall for a base hit. Braun able to get it in, and that's going to hold the runner down at third base. Digging in for his second at bat, DJ LeMayhew. 0 for 1 here in the early going. He'll hold off on the slider to start the at bat. It's ball one. Well, you know, giving up three straight hits is bad enough, but now it looks like he's starting to nibble a little bit. It's hard not to when you're getting hit, but you don't want to put yourself at bad counts. Swing and a miss on the sinker, and it's one and two. With two strikes now and a runner at first, do you go for the strikeout, or are you still looking for the double play ball? Well, Matt, I think a lot of that depends on the type of pitcher that you are. If you're a power pitcher, you can go ahead and ride a fastball up in the zone, but if you're a guy that induces a lot of ground balls with a sinker, I think you have to stick with that plan. And they finally get an out here as he's forced at the plate. Relay to first is too late, so no double play, but no run scores. David Dahl. First pitch coming, here it is. David Dahl stands in as he swings and misses for strike one. Now, I'm sure these infielders know it, but this hitter can burn down the baseline, so if he puts a ground ball in play, the defense is going to have to make a perfect turn to turn two. Braun has it, and I'd be surprised if they send the runner. And there's a first step in the comeback. The sack fly makes this a 4-1 to one ball game. The center fielder, number 19. At the plate, Charlie, Charlie Blackman. Blackman. Flied out in his first at-bat, so make him 0-1 for 1 so far. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Braun has a read on it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Chad Bettis answers the call from the pen the here in the pool. Number 35. Jonathan Villar Chad. will be the first one to greet him here as he'll be forced to turn around and hit from the left side now. Hard hit ball to second. And that finds its way through for a base hit. Striding in, Jimmy Nelson. He successfully laid Jimmy down a sack Nelson. punt in his last plate appearance. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Now a bunt attempt here. Flip to the second baseman covering now for the out. In is Christian Yelich. A hit in two Let's tries so far. Christian First pitch Yelich. on its way. In now is Lorenzo Kane. He doubled right earlier and carries a two for Lorenzo two line into this Kane. appearance. Here's the first pitch to him. Line toward the gap in left center. Base hit, and that'll get a run in. Stepping into the box, number seven. He comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. First offering on its way. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Yelich is on his way home. In to score, the runner from second. Kane rounds third and is digging for the plate. And he will score as well as they've broken this one wide open now as the lead swells to six. Travis Shaw. A little late on this one as it's lifted the other way down the left field line. Dahl is over to his right and he puts this one away for out number two. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. Digging in once again. Ryan Braun comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. And this will be fouled away. And this one's in the dirt. Good job keeping it close as the count goes to one and one. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Takes a knee-high fastball. 
He's ready. Now the pitch. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much. Here's Nolan Arenado. He'll get it started against Jimmy Leading Nelson as we get the, the inning underway. Third baseman. Here comes Nolan the first pitch. Arenado. A swing and a miss at the big curveball. Tell you what, having a big lead early, uh, sometimes that's not always the best thing. But I think what you got to do is still focus on one at bat, one pitch at a time, and not allow a big inning coming at you. Boy, Matt, we're watching him have great success on that exploding fastball at the top of the zone. And I'm telling you right now, you can't catch up to that. It looks great to you coming in, but you have to get your bat in the position to get on top of it. And it's just too hard to do all those things. I think you're going to square it up. Yelich is in retreat as he pulls it in for the first out. Right Here's Cargo, Carlos five. Gonzalez. He's Carlos 0 for 1 thus far. Gonzalez. Popped high in the air. And he'll put this away for the second out. Standing in, Trevor Story. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Swing and a miss on a ball inside, 0 and 1. Well, Matt, they've been real aggressive, taking swings early in the count, but you're losing in this game, so you got to make an adjustment. you got to start taking pitches and maybe working the pitch a little bit more if it's not working being aggressive. And he'll try to hold up in time, but to no avail as he went around and the. Now at the plate, Stephen Vogt. No hits in two out, trips the to the plate for him in the Catcher. ball game. Stephen and he gets a Vogt. piece here as this ball is fouled away. I think he held hey. up in time, but that becomes moot as it's a called strike two. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Another 0-2 coming. Swing and a hard liner to center field. Blackman is there and he has it for the first down. Now Ready for him. another shot now. Shortstop. Orlando Arcia. Orlando He's one for two Arcia. in the ball game. Good off speed pitch had him out in front for strike one. Well he swung right through that on that changeup. The changeup is a tough pitch to swing at for the first pitch because you haven't measured his velocity yet. So you don't know what you're going to see coming your direction. Takes this the other way to right. And that's into the outfield for a one out base hit. Ready once again, now Jonathan Maddie. VR. Second He's singled in two trips to the plate Jonathan thus far. VR. Now this is chopped fouled at home plate. It's 0 and 1. 0 and 1 count and the pitch. Chopped foul right at home plate. 0 oh and 2, here it comes. Swing and a line drive, but this will be a foul ball. Runner at first here, one man out. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Waiting on it is Dahl. He's got it, and there are two down now. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Now batting. At the, the plate, Jimmy Nelson. Jimmy he started Nelson. out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Yeah. Right on the corner, a fastball that he takes for a strike. Ready with the 0-1. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. Well, now's when he gets nasty. He's 0-2, and, and you know he's got five pitches in his arsenal and put him away. It's almost impossible for the hitter to sit on anything. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. And here's a ball lifted back toward the stands in right, so we'll try it again at one and two. He'll try again, one, two. And a good fastball swung on and missed for strike three. Stepping into the box. Box. Leading out for the Rockies. Catcher. Dom Nunez. First pitch coming, here it is. Swing and that's hit out of play up into the plaza level. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. Oh, he looked like a caveman swinging a club on that one. It's 0-2 now. Oh, wow. That's what they call a jam sandwich. Wow. Not much you can do with that pitch that's in tight. Well, I think he's trying to get that two-strike fastball out of the zone. Just caught too much of the plate right there. Fortunately, he fouled it off. 
instead of putting it in the seats. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. And boy, what a battle brewing here as he fouls yet another pitch into the seats. Still stuck on 0 and 2. He's just fouling them off till he gets something he wants to hit. Another foul ball, and this battle will continue. That's four foul balls in a row. He's battling, no doubt. A little bit off the outside. It's one and two. Well, now it's a one-two count. He's throwing the same pitch three times in a row. He got ahead with it. Now let's see if he puts him away with it. Oh, and he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight-pitch at-bat. Ian Desmond. Ian Desmond will stand in for the second time now as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. Well, he got a high strike on a fastball right there. That's pretty unusual. Usually early in the count, you're going to see a guy work down in the zone. That high fastball usually the put-away pitch with two strikes. He pitched him backwards right here. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. I have no issue wasting a pitch on 0 and 2 to try to get a guy to go fishing, but it has to be somewhat tempting. You're not going to get anyone to swing the bat at that pitch. Got him to go down swinging there. Ian Desmond becomes out number two this inning. First pitch of the at bat. Bunt attempt with two outs. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Digging in once again, Christian Yelich. Two Brewers. hits and three at-bats for him in this it. one. Christian Yelich. Swing and a liner, but foul. And I believe they'll say he broke the plane, as yes, he did. It's ruled a strike. The pitch. This is grounded foul. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Here's a blooper out toward left center. Coming in is Dahl. One down. Digging in and looking for more. Lorenzo Cain. He's got three hits, including a double to this point. And the changeup is way low that time. Lays off a fastball that doesn't miss by much, and it's 2-0. and When you're down six on the mound, you got to at least throw strikes here. Takes a high fastball for a strike. And he jumps at a changeup, a swing and a miss. I like how he's mixing up the fastball and the changeup right there. That's how we got the 2-2 two and two count. I think he comes back with a changeup here. And this is swung out and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the sixth inning. Number seven. And this one's tap fouls at home plate. Line drive to left. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. Legs churning. He's headed for second. Striding in once again, Travis Shaw. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Now a fastball to start things out. Didn't miss by a lot, but it's 1-0. He's ready. Here's the 1-0. Oh, and he falls behind now, 2-0. Boy, this is one of those tricky spots for a pitcher, right? You have an open base, but you have a guy on deck that could do a lot of damage. Not a good spot to be in if you're a pitcher right now. Gets the sign. Here comes the 2-1. This is on the ground over to first. And nothing will come of the two-out double as the inning is over. Here's the second baseman, D.J. LeMayhew. Third Leading trip to the, the plate for him here tonight. 0 for second 2 baseman, at this point. D.J. LeMayhew. And a curveball to begin the at-bat, 0 and 1. That's a big pitch right there. It could change the at-bat. When you're facing a good hitter like this, that first pitch, strike one, is so important as to who's going to control this at-bat. Right now, pitcher's got the advantage. Here's the 0 and 2. Again, he sends it out of play. Now another 0-2. Swing, and he pops him up over toward foul territory. And nope, this one falls, so he'll get another shot. The 0-2 once more. 
Uh, they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. The batter. And that'll bring up the speedy outfielder David Dahl. He hit a sack fly earlier. They'll try and entice him with a high fastball, but he wouldn't commit. It's ball one. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Braun on the run. He gets there, and that's the second out. Here's Charlie Blackman now. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Into the windup and the pitch. Ball hit high and foul down the left field line. It's strike one. Well, he's done a great job on the hill throughout this game, and it's something to be proud of anytime you can pitch a good game in this ballpark, especially when it's not your home ballpark. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Here's Ryan Brown. Now. for the Brewers, the left fielder number eight, Ryan. Now will step Braun. off. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hard hit ball to second. Lemayhew's got it, and the throw to first is in time. So the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Ready once again, Stephen Vogt. No hits in three Catcher. tries so far. Steven he struck out once. Vogt. Swing and a miss as he was way in front of that one. That's exactly what you don't want to do first pitch. If you're going to swing first pitch, you want to drive it. You can't take an ugly, bad swing on the first pitch when you know what you're looking for. They got to be more patient because you're going to get more pitches. Look out over near the on deck circle as he whistles this one fouled off to the left. I like the pitch right there. Got to chase a fastball out of the zone. I'd come back with it again. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. Nope. The next 0 2 misses, and that'll move it to 1 and 2 now. Talk about frustrating as a pitcher. You make a great pitch like that, and the guy just lays off of it. That barely missed the zone. Seven runs on 12 hits, and no errors on the Milwaukee line score so far. Now a swing, and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. Arenado will look this one in, and that's out number two. Next to bat, Orlando Arcia. He's two for three Orlando thus far. Arcia. And he misses inside, inside with that one. Ball one. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. A wave and a miss, a tick behind a good fastball. Well, I think his eyes lit up when he saw that pitch coming up at his eye level. Oh, you think? If you've got a good fastball like he does, that location can be really effective. It looks so tempting to the hitter, but making contact on that pitch can be very tough. And this will find the seats behind the first base dugout. And an off-speed pitch swung on and missed, and with that, the... Here's Nolan Arenado. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Third baseman, Nolan Arenado. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. And this is taken in for out number one. The right fielder, Here's Cargo, five, Carlos Gonzalez. Carlos he comes in 0 for 2 Gonzalez. thus far. Committed to that one a bit too soon as it locks him up for strike one. Boy, not a good swing there. That was really ugly. Anytime you can make a hitter look like that, you've done something special. Now, did it look to you like he was guessing on the pitch? Oh, certainly it had to be, Matt. But if he was, he obviously wasn't looking for that pitch. Back up the middle. And that finds its way into center for a one-out base hit. And that brings in the power hitting shortstop Trevor Story. He struck out twice thus far, so we'll see if he can fare any better here. 
smoked on the ground left side. That's through when he's got his first base hit. He's one for three. Digging in to try it again. Dom Nunez. One for two on his line so far in the game. Now some movement out in the Milwaukee bullpen. Both the lefty and a right-hander have begun to stretch it out. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Just a tick behind for a strike. Here's the 0 1. And a neck high fastball that time. Here's the 1 and 1 delivery. Hit hard back up the middle. Garcia has it. There's one. On to first. It's a double play as their woes continue. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Jonathan Villar. He'll lead things Second off as they look play. to perhaps build Jonathan on an already sizable Villar. lead. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. The pitcher number ready 52. for another shot now. Jimmy, Jimmy Nelson. Nelson. Fourth plate appearance for him tonight, and why not? He's been in control all game long. Here's the first pitch to him. Hit to third. Arenado has it. On to first, and he's breezing through the eighth here with two quick outs. How about him? That's Ready for good. another chance? Christian Yelich. On the night, he's two for four with a pair of singles. And he got him to swing early as this is skied out toward right. Gonzalez has a read on it, and the inning is over. Into the box now, Ian Desmond. A right hit here. in two tries so far. Into Ian the windup and Desmond. the pitch. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0 and 1. Matt, this is getting a little ridiculous. That strike right there puts him at 90% of hitters. He's throwing first pitch strike to. You do that, yeah, you're going to dominate lineups. Inside, as that perhaps will back him off a bit, 1 and 2. Set to deal on a ball and two strike. On the ground up the middle. VR gloves it. Throw in time as he's called out on a bang bang play at first. Digging in for his second at bat. Chad Bennett. Ryan McMahon will move into the on deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. And he pops it up back behind second base. And that'll take care of the pinch hitter here for route number two. Here's the, the second baseman, nine. D.J. LeMahieu. No hits in three DJ tries so far. LeMahieu. He struck out once. Hit weakly back to the mound. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Carlos Estevez enters now in a mop-up for the Rockies. Number in now is Lorenzo Cain. He's got three Arlo. hits, including a double to this point. Hit in the air to straightaway center. Blackman's after it. One away. Now Trying to pick things up where we left seven. off. Number seven. Already a homer and two doubles to his credit thus far. Way behind that pitch. It's 0-1. He's set. Here's the 0-1. And this is fouled back and out of play. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 0-2 pitch. And a swing and a miss here. And the first two are dispatched to begin the ninth. How about it? And that brings There's up the left-handed hitting Travis, Travis Shaw. Shaw. He was a ground out victim last time up. First pitch curveball. Swung on and missed. Strike one. Swing and a ball hit well to the right side. But this will get into the crowd. Here comes the nothing in two pitch. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. Matt, he's thrown two pitches right down the middle and got away with them. A swing and a miss. That retires the side. And that'll bring up the speedy outfielder David Dahl. Leading 0 for 2 with a sacrifice thus far. Left fielder. High fly Number ball 26. out to straightaway center. Yelich is after it. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Here's Charlie Blackman now. No hits in three tries so far. He's struck out once. 
chopped weakly to the left. Throw too late to get him at first. Not a thing of beauty, but it's an infield single nonetheless. Batter number 28. Very now batting, man. Nolan, Nolan Arenado. Arenado. He's batting cleanup, but has been shut down so far at the plate. 0 for 3. And that's in there. Base hit. Now at the plate, Carlos right Gonzalez. He steps in off a Carlos base hit in his last at bat. Boone Logan complete. enters from the pen now to begin the frame Milwaukee. with a sizable lead Number with which to work. Boone Logan. Action in that Milwaukee bullpen now as a left-hander started to throw out there. Well hit the other way and it's into the gap. The runner scores from second. Arenado rounds the corner and is headed home. And the throw in gets away from him. Stepping into the box, Trevor Story. They've got two already home in the inning and a potential third waiting in the wings only 90 feet away. And that misses inside 1-0. and Wow, that was a decent breaking ball right there, but that's just a pitch that's a little easier to lay off of when you're opposite-handed, opposite bat. You can see the sweep of the ball coming right into you. That was a great take. This is going to be an interesting at bat. I think he has to be pitching for a strikeout here. So we'll see what kind of sequence he uses. A ball and two strikes. Here it is. A fastball that just misses inside. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. Now batting. Standing in, Dom, Dom Nunez. Nunez. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final Nunez. out here in the ninth. Good slider there, and he gets ahead of him. Nothing in one. 0 oh and 1, here it comes. And there's a swing and a miss, so the Rockies find themselves down to their final strike now. So back to back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet a swing and a miss? He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. And they did some damage offensively in this one, enough to get the win, and this man led the charge. He's our top player of the game. Yeah, he delivered with runners in scoring position a couple of times in this one. Finished with five RBIs, and that was obviously a huge factor in them claiming the victory here. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious Brewers. Seven runs on 12 hits. No errors. They left six men on base. For the Rockies, three runs on eight hits. No errors. They left five men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 18 minutes. Tonight's paid attendance, 50,445. The Rockies thank you for joining us here tonight and as you exit Coors Field we remind you to please drive home safely.